Hello and welcome to this session on Fusion Middleware Infrastructure 12C R1, release 12.1.3. Uh, my name is Mike Lehman. I run product management for what is called Cloud Application Foundation. It is the business unit that delivers uh, the core Fusion Middleware infrastructure. I'm very happy to be here today talking about this new release. It's one of our more exciting releases in recent times. And I'll give you a, a brief tour so you get an understanding of what we've done and some of the exciting innovations we've done, how you can take advantage of it in your, in your infrastructure. So let's start out by um, setting the stage of where we're investing and how we're delivering Fusion Middleware infrastructure. So as you can see, we have uh, a number of key uh, delivery platforms for uh, the Fusion Middleware infrastructure. And of course, we have a number of focal focus areas when we invest our uh, infrastructure. You know, I like to always highlight that, of course, we still run our product on-premise and we have all those conventional hardware platforms, IBM, Dell, HP, Cisco, and of course, Oracle delivering um, our uh, enterprise class uh, commodity conventional hardware on x86. But as you know, there's been a big investment towards um, engineered systems. You know, we have a huge investment around Exologic, Exadata. Um, our software has been optimized for it, and in the 12.1.3 release, we've done a number of really exciting things to make that possible. Um, and then finally, in the last year and a bit, we've done a huge investment around delivering our software infrastructure in the cloud. Um, you know, we have the Oracle Public Cloud where WebLogic is available, our database is available, and we're rolling out considerably more uh, infrastructure in that space, particularly around infrastructure as a service. But we're also available on um, other platforms, you know, Windows Azure, Amazon, uh, Terramark, and even more coming along the way. So we have this big investment around these platforms. But you know, it's not just enough to deliver the platforms um, themselves and have these great channels that you can choose from. We have to have you know differentiators in the product. We have a huge focus around the developer um, area, particularly around building mobile applications, delivering them faster in a more agile fashion. The way we do this is we move the standards themselves, Java EE, Java SE, and then more and more so people are building these uh, hybrid applications around HTML5 and uh, having uh, significant su success on um, mobile platforms, iOS, Android, and so forth. Now, you know, it's not just around agility of developers, it's clearly around the other side of the story is when you deploy these applications at scale in your data centers, you want to have great uh, density and utilization on your infrastructure. We're doing significant investments around multi-tenancy with the Oracle database multi-tenancy and making that available in Fusion Middleware. Significant work around high availability and uh, multi-data center uh, capabilities in the product itself. You know, together these two areas are really around deploying a mission critical infrastructure and having a, a clean way to run that environment in a highly available dense, efficient fashion. Now, once you have that runtime running, how do you manage it at scale? So if I have, you know, 10 instances, I probably can do it reasonably easily. When I get to 100 or 1,000, I need to have tooling that lets me work at that scale. How do I manage a fleet of infrastructure? So we've done significant work in our Enterprise Manager uh, 12C release, um, adding in sort of what I call cloud scale management and operations uh, capabilities. So significant work in that area. Next slide. Now, just to give you a, a flavor of what's uh, made into 12.1.3, what we made into 12.1.3 uh, in, the, in the product release, you know, it is a massive amount of capabilities, literally hundreds upon hundreds of features. And what I've done here is I've cherry-picked uh, some of the, the highlights, you know, whether it be in the standards area with Java E6, but even some uh, early capabilities around Java E7. In the developer area, just making it great for that development lifecycle, not only around uh, mobility and so forth, but also just the tooling, the development lifecycle, Java SE, the latest Java SE releases, integration with the database. Clearly, we are a leader in databases. We have great integration with uh, the Oracle database. Uh, performance, uh, enterprise with clustering and scalability, um, distributed caching, of course, with coherence, manageability with a major new release of Enterprise Manager 12C, and then finally, of course, cloud, and along with cloud comes security, integration, and so forth. This is a major release, very exciting. We're looking forward to our customers adopting it, We're looking forward to developers trying it out and being successful with it. Now, to 
peel back the onion a little bit further and give you a sense of you know how many pieces are in there. You know my my core responsibility is the infrastructure, but it is a foundational release. The reason that we call it Fusion Middleware Infrastructure is because our product line has been released on top of it. On this slide, you get a sense of the the breadth of the offering, application development framework, BPM, coherence for in-memory caching, data integration services, a whole set of capabilities there, the event processing infrastructure, management with Enterprise Manager, the tooling with JDeveloper and Eclipse, the whole SOA infrastructure, our web tier, and of course it all runs on WebLogic Server. So this is really exciting. It's a broad release. It's innovative. It's foundational to your infrastructure. We're very excited that we've brought it to market at this time, an opportunity for you to take advantage of emerging innovative trends. What I'd like you to do, having seen all this, is take a look at all the new material that we put out on oracle.com, Oracle Technology Network, and of course recordings like this one where we have them out on OU, OU Web and OU uh, Streaming Technology. So it's a very exciting opportunity. Take the time to learn, download the software, try it out, and tell us how you like it. And we're excited to have your feedback as you go forward adopting the environment. Thank you.